Hey guys, there's something that I absolutely need to share. Today, while scrolling X, I stumbled upon a really interesting post. Someone was talking about using a project called RT64 to port The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask to PC. The post mentioned enhanced gamepad support, high frame rate, widescreen, and a bunch of other features, all with a high level of emulation accuracy. I mean, I was definitely intrigued and had to try it out on my Steam Deck. Let me tell you, I was blown away by how fantastic it felt to play on the deck. This magic is all thanks to Mr. Wiseguy's Zelda 64 recompiled project. This project uses RT64 to port both Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, adding tons of improved features like instant loading times, low input lag, auto-saving, gyro aiming, and the impressive RT64 effects such as high frame rate and widescreen support. While support for Ocarina of Time and features like ray tracing, mod support, texture packs, randomizers, and even dual analog control schemes are coming soon, Majora's Mask is already amazing to play on the Steam Deck. The setup process is straightforward and definitely worth it. So let's get straight into the how part. As I mentioned, the process is pretty simple, and as long as you have a copy of the game, you'll find this guide easy to follow. You'll need an NTSC U USA copy ROM of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. While we fully support emulation for game preservation, we don't condone piracy in any way, shape, or form. First, switch to desktop mode on your Steam Deck and go to the Zelda 64 recompiled GitHub release page for version 1.0. Scroll down to find and download the file named Zelda 64 Recompiled v1.0.0 linux.tar.gz. After downloading, extract the contents into a new folder. I suggest creating a folder on your desktop for easy access, but as long as everything is in a folder, you should be fine. Next, place your obtained copy slash ROM of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask into the same folder. Your directory should look something like this path to your folder with ROM. Once the ROM is in place, right-click on the executable file and select Add to Steam. This action will automatically create a shortcut in Steam, making it easy to access in game mode. Now you can head back to game mode and set everything up. Open Zelda 64 compiler and click on Find ROM. This will open a new window where you can locate and select your game. After selecting the ROM, hit Open and you should see a new option to Start Game. With this setup, you are now ready to play the game. Gamepad controls and resolution are automatically configured, so you can jump right in. Enhancing your experience with gyro aiming. If you want to enhance your gameplay with gyro aiming for the bow and other items, there's one extra step. Go to your controller settings and set the gyro behavior to as mouse. Mr. Wise Guy recommends changing the gyro behavior settings so that you don't need to be touching the right stick to allow gyro input. You can adjust this by clicking the gear icon next to the gyro behavior settings. This small tweak can significantly improve your gameplay experience, making aiming more intuitive and precise. It's a fantastic feature that leverages the Steam Deck's capabilities to bring a modern touch to a classic game. Final touches and performance. And that's it! You should now be all set to play Majora's Mask's PC port on your Steam Deck. This project is truly awesome and it's exciting to see these kinds of developments. RT64 has come a long way, and we hope to see more developers use it to port other N64 games. There are similar projects for games like Super Mario 64, which I need to try out again, but this feels like a definitive way to experience classic N64 games on modern devices while staying true to the original feel. There are moments when battery drain can spike up to 15 watt, but generally the game runs at 60 FPS with around 6 watt battery drain. This provides about 6.5 hours of battery life on LCD and up to 10 hours on OLED. It's a solid performance that ensures you can enjoy extended play sessions without constantly worrying about battery life. Looking ahead, I'm particularly excited to see how Ocarina of Time will turn out, especially with ray tracing and other advanced features. If Majora's Mask is anything to go by, we're in for a treat. The potential for these ports to breathe new life into classic games is immense, and the Steam Deck is the perfect platform for it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below letting us know your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. See you in the next one.